The horse, the William Haley. Virtue, while her spells divine, spells with savage force control. What's the strongest charm of wine, courage in a mother's soul? Ask my song the scene proclaim that may prove a maxim true, fair one of maternal fame, Hark Vorna speaks to you. Noblest of your noble band, brave Marcella chants to rove, leading childhood in her hand, through deep and lonely grave. See a child, how gay, how light, tries to years her life has run, like a young aurora bright, sporting near the rising sun. Through paths of sandy stone, where autumnal foliage glowed, where the quivering sun may be shun, like the deep and narrow road. Now as through the day of the paste, pleshed with its umbragous charm, now a fiery stead in haste, prancing, spreads a quick alarm. Fierce of Arabia's race, force and beauty, formed with pride. Vainly tutored for the chase, care he scorned and rule defied. Soon as a rider has been flung, well like Perseus he adroit, oft the flying horses clung, proud of every bold exploit. Now on foot he tried in vain, or to soften or subdue his wild steed, whose leading rein, short and tight, he firmly drew. But the more the horseman strove to restrain his fiery force, more made the solemn grove echo to his frantic course. Snorting aloud of savage leer, all controlling powers to foil, see him plunge and see him rear, mocking all his leader's toil. Fearless for himself alone, he of courage bravely mild, manly fear was frank to own for the mother and the child. For the beast and the bearer's ire, to the child and mother rushed. Both redeemed must not expire, but a vicious monster crushed. For his rage with forceful art, still he faint turn or tame. Fear and pity filled his heart, and convulsed his manly frame. Fly, he cried in accents weak, as the rampant causer sped. Fly was all that he could speak, to span of the monster's head. But without a child to fly, with Marcella now disdained, as the darling's guard to die, this her only hope remained. On the bank, where pine trees mixed, thick to form an arching wood, at the back her child she fixed, and before her bravely stood. Firm in voice and soul elate, when in solemn tongue she cried, The features fixed as fate, tell your father how I died. Noble parent, nature saw, virtue shining in her soul, and a sudden wondrous awe struck the beast with spurn control. For as if her fixed eyes started fascinating flame, he, to thy devout surprise, to before thee fondly tame. He is touched by powers above, that can demons dispossess, beauty, submissive love, like Spaniel's meek caress. Free from all maternal greed, not was wine the race and fear him, from whom the cause of fled, trembling yet with generous fear. Fear soon turned to strong delight, when he saw a savage taint, and enchanted by the sight, a quick horseman was exclaimed, God, I thank thee, I behold, wondrous far surpassing thought, more than fiction ever told, by maternal virtue wrought. Virtue and thy praises warm, I may speak of their word, as seen the fairest form, courage in the mother's heart. 